Hey, this is Delroy with uh, the r and group, part of Remax Structure. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, tidbit on how to buy a home. If you are a buyer and you're thinking about buying a home, this video is for you. If you're not, there's plenty more videos to check out. Lots of great information and let's build some wealth through real estate. Um, so today I want to talk about the first step you need to purchase a home. This is the most important step you need and what a lot of people try and jump ahead of doing before they start um, or when they start looking for a home. Pre-qualified, okay? This, I cannot, like, I cannot stress this enough. And if you speak to anyone in the industry, they will tell you that this is the most important thing to do first when you're thinking about buying a house. So as soon as you think, start buying a house, you can call your real estate agent and they should tell you, get pre-qualified. Getting pre-qualified, and what does that entail? So when you get pre-qualified, okay, they're gonna wanna have, verify your employment, they're gonna wanna have your two most recent pay stubs, two most recent bank statements, and your two uh, most recent years of tax returns. So two years of tax returns, two years bank statements, two years pay stubs, Again, there are some variations to that depending on your personal situation and depending on what lender you use, but that is the basics. They're going to pull your credit. Yes, they have to pull your credit. You cannot get pre-qualified without them pulling your credit. Um, and just talking about pulling credit, when the lender pulls your credit, it's going to be a hard pull. So you don't want to go to five different lenders and check prices and check rates. You want to know you're going to a qualified source up front um, that you're going to use. You can do it a couple of times. It's not going to be detrimental, um, but don't go out getting your credit pulled seven different times. It's different getting a home loan and getting a mortgage loan are two different things when it comes to getting your credit pulled. When you go in and purchase a car, they're going to pull your credit there and they're going to send it out to maybe 20 different credit bureaus. I'm just giving you the scenario, but it's your credit's going to get hit a lot of times rapidly in that scenario. And then after that, you're going to you know, probably see a big hit on your credit. And then after the next month or, or two months, it's going to go back to where it should be. When you get your, your credit pool for a mortgage, um, it's not going to be the same. They're going to pull it. It's a one-time pull, just one person pulling your credit. okay? And then if you go to somebody else, it'll be one time pulling your credit. Um, and each bank is going to have, you can't take one credit print out to another bank. Every bank is going to want to pull their own. And they use a completely different scoring system and rating system than they do when you're getting a car loan. So if you went and got a car loan and they told you your score is 690, you may go to get a home and they tell you your score is 720 or tell you your score is 650, just depending. A mortgage um, or bank poured credit check is going to be what you need for a home. So if you're thinking about buying a car and buying a home right now, wait on buying the car. Do not go and purchase a car right before you're uh, thinking about purchasing a home. You want to wait to purchase your car until after you've qualified, actually completely closed on your loan. And that goes for any big um, expenditures or credit cards, spending, anything you're going to do. You want to just get your home sorted out and secured before you go out and spend it any money. People will say, you know, no, well, I've been, you know, I just want a home in this price range. I know what I want. I just want, to, I want to stay under four hundred thousand, and I want in this area. Let's go. Let's just check out the houses first before I get my credit pulled. And doing that, doing that scenario is like, you know, it's like saying, hey, come with me to the grocery store, and you hold my wallet. I don't know how much money's in there. But let's just go shopping, you know, let's just go fill up the basket and we fill it up. We buy, you know, all the nice organic groceries, organic chicken. We buy everything we need. We get to the counter, we open up the wallet and we are going to have, first of all, it's a complete gamble because we have no idea what's in the wallet. Let's say the grocery bill comes up to 300. We only have 200. Now we just wasted two hours going around the grocery store for absolutely no reason and we can't buy anything that we've just looked at. Or you may get lucky and you know you end up looking in the wallet and there's 500 bucks in there and we give it in and, and we're okay. But why take that risk, you know? Why waste the time of going around looking at properties? 
you won't even have as enough enough leverage um, when you get to offering if you don't know how much you qualify. If you know how much you qualify for, you're going to have the most leverage when you're putting in an offer for a home. If the house is 500 and you know that you qualify for 550 and they tell you, you there's another offer coming in that's at 505, you know you can go to 510 because you already know. If you're up in the air about what you can qualify for, you're just guessing about it right now. So definitely get pre-qualified, contact me if you need a lender, um, let me know your situation, my contact information will be down below um, and I'll get you hooked up with a lender and we'll get you pre-qualified and then we'll start looking at houses, okay? So number one rule, get pre-qualified, thank you for watching, subscribe, hopefully more information and let's build wealth through real estate, thank you.